and thanks for joining me today. This is going to be an unboxing, sort of, and a swatch video. And I wanted to show you, first of all, in my Get Ready With Me video that you just watched a day or two ago, I wore a, like a Barbie pink lipstick from Rimmel, um, Kate Moss, or Kate by Rimmel. And I just, it was too much of a Barbie pink, so I, I didn't like it. So what I did was change my lipstick to the Too Faced Melted, and this is Melted Berry. And I got this in a Beauty Con box. Um, not, not Bunnies, but the one before that. So what I got was my Melt or my Morphe palettes. And I am going to make two videos because I'm afraid that this is going to be too long. I am going to swatch every single shadow. So I'll swatch this one and then I'll make another video and swatch the other one because otherwise it'd just be too darn long. So anyway, here is the 350M, which means matte. They're all mattes. And this row here is probably the only row that I will not use because if you know me, you know I do not like orange. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a primer, a lid primer, on my arm, and I'm going to swatch them that way for what you. What I'm going to do is just, I put primer on my arm, and I'm just going to go one by one and show you what these look like. Now, the first ones are very light. They're going to be very hard to see, especially on my pale skin. But we are going to try this. So there is the first color. Clean my brush off in between. And this may not look like it works very well, but it works wonderfully. Okay, there's two. This is all I can really do is count the numbers because there are no names or anything. These are, Morphe is kind of a no-named eyeshadows, I guess. Here's three. Very flesh color, that one. Four, it's the first one with any color really. It's a nice, nice, nice transition color. And that's probably what I'll wear it for. There's five, another very neutral color. Very hard to see on my skin tone. Six, almost like a, this brown has almost got some like green in it. And number seven is the brightest orange. So there you go, there is the first row there is seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From here to here. Hey guys, here we go for round two. And there are five, there's a lot of shadows here, so. Here is number one. One here is pretty kind of a pinky nude. Okay, these are all just a tiny bit darker than the first row. Any 
neutral just gets nominally a little bit darker. This one here I don't care for either. Wish they would have put more like rosy colors in here instead of the oranges. That's my only complaint about this. That's one of the oranges that isn't so bad, but I still don't care for it. Okay, guys, that was the last one. There's seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one here. So from here to here. Round three. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster with these. There's one. So you can tell they're getting a little bit darker each row. That one's kind of patchy. I like this color. Ooh, that's really pigmented, that one. This one is just a tiny bit darker but really kind of a reddish brown. This is kind of a... Wow, it looks pink on my arm, but it really does look like... Well, it does look like a pinky orange, I guess, but... Hey, guys here to here back with row four these are getting quite a bit darker now my arms still still just a tiny bit wet so it or damp so if these look a little patchy that's probably the reason That's probably, these really, really dark ones are probably ones I will never wear to. Unless I use them as liner. This one's like a, a rich chocolate brown, that one. That one's really pretty. This one's really pretty also. If you wanted a darker transition, that would be a good one. And this one is in the orange row. And this one's not so bad. Okay, everybody, last row. Very dark row. That one's a little bit patchy and my arm is not wet. Even though that one's really pretty. This one's almost black. This one's really like a deep gray. For those smoky eye people. This one's like a burnt orange. That's actually a uh, orange color I can stand.
Okay guys, that was my last row. And if you need to look at these a little bit, just pause the video at this time or whenever I was showing them. Very pretty. Okay guys, that is my Morphe 350M palette. I will be back next time with my 35O shimmer palette, or S palette, which is all shimmers. And it is basically the same shadows, only shimmery. And I have not tried either palette yet, but most of these shadows, of the matte shadows, went on very well. There's just a couple of them that were a little bit um, patchy. But other than that, they went on very well, and they're very pigmented. So I'm pretty happy with this palette so far. And I will be using this very soon in uh, Making It Work weekly, in my weekly series, Making It Work, along with probably my little shimmer palette to um, help with the eye or eyelid shades, because you know I like shimmer. So anyway, I will be back with you with the other video, and if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'm sorry, like I said, I'm very sorry about the angle, because it, it my tripod, I don't know, there's something wrong with it, that it makes it very hard for me to get my camera back on it after I take my camera off. So I don't take my camera off my tripod. So this is... This is what I've got to work with, and I'm sorry it doesn't look professional like so many of them, but at least you can see the shadows. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.